being running back today. Was, how different was it? Was it fun to run the ball and have a lot more touches? Yeah, it was, it was definitely, uh, I mean, I don't say it was funner because, I mean, I've just gotten so used to receiver, but it was, it was definitely fun. I'm, I expected them, I mean, you know, them being line, I expect them to be much stronger, more physical, but it wasn't really a difference in, in like, the physicalness. So it was good. I mean, I'm kind of sore, but <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> How do you assess the overall results of what you were able to contribute out there tonight? Um, if I can give myself a grade, I'll probably give myself a D minus because I know I'm better than what I did out there. I just got to learn and watch the film and obviously do what the Coach McGee's uh, teaching me because a lot of the plays, even when I got yardage, I didn't read my assignment right. So I probably could have got more yardage. So I definitely just got to keep keep going with uh, Coach McGee and getting extra coaching. What's been the hardest part of that transition process? Uh, reading, reading the, uh, the alignment and, and pressing the holes, like uh, where coaches do. But sometimes, I mean, I get impatient and the alignment taking too long to develop their, you know, their blocks, so I, I just go. But that's that's what's gonna help me if I want to keep playing. Demetrius, when they went into that wildcat formation, what was the most difficult thing about reading what McCaffrey was trying to do in those situations? I mean, uh, McCaffrey's an awesome athlete, so you know it's hard to hard to uh, guard them. So, you know, uh, we try to contain them and, you know, and we we just fail to do that. But, you know, we're going to keep fighting and we're going we gonna to adjust. And next week is a new game, new week, new mindset. Uh, obviously, coming into a game like this, the, the game plan is probably to try to uh, figure out where McCaffrey is and stop him on every play. What happened on the one where he was open on the, on the sideline and flat in the second quarter? Um, you know, it was just mis miscommunication. You know, we didn't communicate well. That's how that's, that goes. That's the whole defense fault. So we just got to communicate more and then and fix it. Demetrius Michael's kind of been a, Michael Barton's kind of been a, you know, leader out there for you guys. How mm -hmm. tough was it when he went out to kind of bring it all back together out there? I mean, it's tough, but, you know, here we preach next man up. So everybody has to prepare. So I'm sure Jake Matthews prepared like Mike prepared. So he came in and he was prepared. Why, why do you think the offense was unable to get going in this game tonight? I don't know. I think it's a couple of things. Um, up front, I don't think we played as well as we should have. Uh, you know, we have a guy, Samaje, coming in there running really hard, playing hard. And uh, we didn't give him as many opportunities as he should have. Samaje, obviously you're playing running back now, but, you know, from the receiver group, why do you think it's tough to get guys like Trey and Nate, who we've seen be productive in the past, consistently involved in this offense this year. I mean, is it just the difference in quarterbacks, or is there other things happening out there that those guys can't be consistent five, six, seven catch guys week in and week out? Uh, I honestly think it's kind of a, a panic mode, because, I mean, they, they, you know, they do get open here. I mean, but like, it's like receivers make mistakes. Quarterbacks can't always see the open man. So, I mean, I just feel now they got we got to rep it more in practice and I mean more and more I stay after practice and because Nate uh, Trey is obviously senior so we definitely want to need them to help us and if I got to go back to receive I'm, I'm definitely willing to do that and try to help out I just want to win pretty much Jacob how do you get the guys to regroup uh, at this point in the season you know I think that you know losing sucks obviously uh, I don't think any of us are happy with losing. But, uh, you know, we still have a chance to win and make a bowl game and stuff like that. We just got to take it one game at a time. I think that's super important for us. We just got to care. And I think we do care. Rich, Jake, there's, there's a lot of guys in the locker room who do care. How do, how do, you, how do you see that manifest itself? How do you know the guys are caring? So obviously, we hate losing. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know. You already come in the locker room, you got people crying. You don't want to lose. That's what we live for. We live to play football. It's nothing else. Obviously, we all care. We're here for, to get a degree and play football. I don't know how else to put it. Was it hard not having Sandy in the, in the mix, you know, not being there? I think he did a good job. He was on the sideline. You know, he got the crowd pumped up. <coughs> and he's
talking to us in the huddles, you know, he did a good job. You know, obviously it sucks that he's injured, but, you know, he did as much as he could. Demetrius, how would you grade or judge how you guys did overall against McCaffrey today? I'll give us a, a D, because, you know, at the overall we wanted to win, and we didn't win. So if we didn't win, I mean, it's kind of hard to give us a good grade. Last question, folks. How did a new scene when he was in there? How did a new scene when he was in there with you guys? Did he seem like he was focused and ready to be back and, and, and excited to be back? No, yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely thought he was ready to be back. It's just, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like he, when he got in there, he knew what he was capable of, and he wanted to do more than just you know get in and keep doing what we were doing, which is not really moving the ball. I think he wanted to get in and make bigger plays, and it kind of uh, frustrated him to, to not be able to do that. And then he ended up getting out, and I can see it in his eyes. Like he was definitely, I mean, upset with himself. But I can, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna text him or talk to him tonight and tell him that he's good. Cause I mean, he, he's fine. He just gotta keep working. He's coming off an of injury, so he'll be all right. I think it's awkward when you come back from injury. You know, he's been out for, I don't know how long he's been out, six weeks, I think. Five weeks, whatever it is. But, you know, it's a little different when you're out for that long. Like, I've never been out. Most games I've ever missed in rows, too, and it was weird coming back already. So, you know, there's this thing of getting back into it. And, you know, it's that first game back. But, you know, I think he was confident. And he, like Samaje said, he wanted to make bigger plays sometimes. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.